It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah, we have a familiar looking bottle, but it's it's more than meets the eye. What do we have? This is Larceny Barrel Proof. Some may say, finally. Finally. Oh, 120, you said it. Finally. You said it, finally. 123.2 proof Woo. of a wheated mash bill. That's right. It's uh, 20% wheat, 68% corn, 12% malted barley. That adds that, that adds up, right? That, that math, I guess, checks out. Checks I'm actually out. not thinking about it at all. So this is going to be like supposedly three times a year, like the um, Elijah Craig barrel proof, yeah. which if you didn't know, they come from the same place, but you probably do know. Is here. <laughs> and we're unveiling. Yeah, it's like pull the curtains back. Um, it's just a cozy sweatshirt. And then I realized it was appropriate yeah. after I was already wearing it. I was like, I'm not going to change now. No, it works. Totally works. Heaven hell. So here we go. And much like the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, these are labeled thusly. So this is A120. So you'll have B, probably 520 if it's following the Elijah Craig. And then C. And then C. Something. 920. Nice cork pop. Same bottle as the regular 92 proof Larceny, mm -hmm. but. The dark. Darker, darker label. Because it's darker juice. Oh boy, that is. That is dark, isn't it? I guess you could say we had a little preview of this. A little sneak peek. Uh, kind 20, of. 2018. Uh, it was 2018. It was the fall, because I remember it was right before Bourbon and Beyond, which is in September. Right. So it was, um, so for, from what we heard, supposed to be for Bourbon Classic or some... some... It was for... I think it was Bourbon and yeah. Beyond release. Bourbon and Beyond? Was it? No. It was something in the fall. It was a special release a special for an release. event around that time. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that... it was for Bourbon and Beyond, but... <laughs> I don't know. It could have been. Um, but somehow, uh, under the, the, the grace of the gods, some of that made it to our local liquor store called mm -hmm. Liquor Barn. Liquor and, uh, Barn. Liquor Barn. Um, so we got to buy one. A lot for a lot more money than a what this more. one's going for. That was like a hundred and I think it was one twenty. One hundred and twenty dollars. Yeah. This MSRP fifty bucks. So maybe they got some feedback on that, or maybe it was just because it was limited at that time. Who knows? Yeah, could be. Wow, mm. the the lemon zest on this. But also a lot of barrel and a little bit of smoke. <sighs> yeah, zesty, smoky. A little campfirey, but also mm -hmm. I see the I see the lemon. Yeah. Yeah, not so much spice because. Hey, this is missing rye, but a lot of times, you know what? You're like, oh, this is a rye bourbon, is, and it's and a weeder, like, or it's, or it's you a know. Well, sometimes I think because barrel proofs are hot, they can be mistaken for rye. Sure. Um, which is, I think, why it's so important to pay attention to where it, it, it kind of hits you on the tongue. Nice, lovely nose. Um, mm. Not maybe super complex in the nose department, or I'm just really eager to, to taste it. Maybe. <laughs> I'm also getting like a cakey thing going on. Maybe like a coffee cake with cinnamon or something. Not cinnamon, oh. but sugary. Cinnamon sugar, whatever. I don't know. For you coffee cake connoisseurs. I could get, the, yeah. Oh, I love that alliteration. Coffee cake connoisseurs. I am getting the sugariness. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely there. Well, I described it, and you described it so deliciously that now I would like to drink it. Let's drink it. Whoa. Hey, Hello. Hey, Hello. Hey, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, hmm. Full disclosure, I had something a little bit minty right before this, so... That, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's just my <laughs> palate being like, what is going on? Yeah. Um, I liked that. Wow, the instant feels. Instant. Oh, it washes over you. Yeah. Mm, that's so nice. <laughs> it does almost come across as like a winter mint. But I don't know if that's, if I need like an, a minute and another sip because I don't know if that's think, just... I think I would have picked up on that if you hadn't said that. It, it kind of feels pretty... You think? I think. I thought it was just because I had something minty right before this. Could have been. Wow, it has a great and incredible texture up front. <laughs> yes, it does. So rich. It's silky. So silky. Made my mouth water. Mmm. Exceptional mouthfeel. Oh, wow. That's... That's 
something special. Did we just find something to go in the best of 2020? <laughs> well, if it's not this release, it might be one of the other two releases. Very true. Oh, hmm. Mm. Dang. No, it tastes like what ah, you would, chills. Yeah, what you expect from like more of like an LE, you know? But, like an you Elijah know, Craig bro? Like an Elijah Craig. Well, I don't know if we call those, and we've had this. They are lit this discussion before. They're limited to three times a year. Yes, three times a year. And hard to come by. This was hard to come by. Um, in fact, I have to give a thanks and a shout out to Matt Preston for finding this bottle and uh, and getting it to me. Because we had a, had a hell of a time trying to find one. Texture on that is so good. It's so rich up front. It gives you a little bit mm. of, I don't know if it's the heat coming off of the proof or just like a little bit of harshness from the those char barrel flavors mm -hmm. it's making it like just a touch bitter and kind of like pfft, at the very end yeah when you really let it when you really settle, let it settle i get that too that I, feeling up front though yes like yeah, more <laughs> more <laughs> but more and you're not gonna like this it almost has an espresso note hmm. on the finish I don't like almost it. i don't like it just in the way like if you ever have an espresso bean the way that that kind of tastes not a lot, just just a hint. I guess I, I can see that. I think too much would be a bad thing, right? Like if I could definitely call it that, I would say it would probably be a no for me because I don't like coffee in my bourbon. Right. And I do like bourbon in my coffee. Um, wow, that hangs around yes. too. Mm, my lips are tingling. Nice, long hugs. finish. You do feel it on the front part of your tongue. It's a nice 123. 123.2. I mean, think about it. This is 3.2. Uh, points higher than a Knob Creek. Mm. This feels more of a punch. It's got that tongue punch more so than like a Knob Creek. It just, you know, three less. This is tasty stuff. It is. You know what I think? What? I think that's a steal at 50 bucks. If you can find it for 50. If you can find it for 50. I mean, that's like saying Stag Jr. is a steal at 50 or 55, right? Like, of course it is, but you'll n you will never get this. <laughs> What's great about it, besides just the taste is the, the fact that it is a high proof weeder that those aren't real prevalent no. um today and you know you have to look towards like uh william larue weller which mm. is a b-tac which is awesome that's an we'll never get this because that's a once a year or makers mark cast strength yeah even like the old fitzgeralds are bottled in bond right so they're always going to be 100 proof Rebel Yell, 10 years, 100. Um, eh, Limited-ish. An affordable, hopefully available. Again, we didn't have that experience with it being available, but um, $50 high-proof weeder I is can't believe that. filling this, this niche, right? I'm impressed. I'm impressed, too. I suppose since it's over 100, do we have to do the water thing? I think we should. I think we should do the water See thing. how it reacts I to mean, water. but will we just be basically making larceny? <laughs> Won't we? Yeah, I doubt this will get it down exactly to 92 proof, but... But with a little water, I guess we'll see what happens to it. You know what, let's just do three drops. Okay. It's three drops when you just have that much left can really do a world of difference. So we're going to let this uh, sit here and kind of mingle, and we'll be back right after this. And we're back. But we want to tell you about whiskeyambitions.com. It's our home on the internet for things like this Drink More Bourbon t-shirt. Uh, these Clean Karens, Sarah's water glass right there, rocks glasses, challenge coins, and more always coming whiskeyambitions.com. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and join our community. We do polls and we do Patreon only meetups and we do Patreon only podcasts and lots of other fun things. Um, so you can join there for as little as $1 a month. Boom. All right, gonna give some more time, but we'll be back. Okay, we've let it sit here. We've let it mingle. We've let it think about what it's done. Now let's see what it's done. That's mm, more... I liked it better before. But now it's more like baking spices. It's, uh... It turned it into a rye. See, now I'm just getting more of like a dry cake smell. I'm getting more of a... Like a breakfast bread. Well, I was gonna say more syrup. 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 More syrup, Sarah. That's what I'm getting. Mmm. I mean... Okay. Ooh. And... Yeah. Still very good. I lost that really awesome richness up front that was giving me like that 
flavor explosion um, and all the silkiness. Yeah. And it also turned up even that like bit of um, barrel char, bitter, dark chocolate, like even more of that mm -hmm. at the end. It turned it up, but it's still quite tasty. I just miss that texture. I agree. It did kind of kill the texture, but it did. So it, um, I said on the nose, more like baking spices. It kind of, I feel like amplified that in the palette. The finish is. It definitely shortened it. It is a little shorter. It's still, I would call it like a medium, medium long finish. Mm -hmm. But before it was like all day. <laughs> yeah, I would probably go sans water, but I do think if I was just drinking on this for the evening, I'd do it neat. And then maybe the second or third one, I might put it in a rocks glass and put like a big ice cube in it. I can see that. Especially if I was like out on a patio or something. Because yeah, that would be nice. If you're drinking this all night, it's gonna get you. I feel bad for your esophagus. Yeah. Because it is, you know, pretty high proof, and it drinks like it's high proof. Mm -hmm. But it's lovely. You know. It is lovely. This isn't any some like delicate because it's a weeder. It's all delicate. No. No. I mean, this kicks more like a stag. Drinks more like a <laughs> William Lee Weller. You know, it's kind of like, it's like, sort it's of like both. Very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I like it a lot. Nitty gritty time, down to <laughs> recommend or not. I mean, I think there's no question. I recommend. This, at this price point, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Big time. Big time recommend. Wow. You, you want this. You want this. This you is the bourbon you're looking for. <laughs> you should get this. Yeah. Yes. And never put it side by side with regular larceny. Oh, it'll, it'll probably just, break your heart. You'll just be disappointed. Mm -hmm. But what I am looking forward to is putting this in a flight with uh, Stack Jr. Elijah with Craig Elijah Craig Barrel, Barrel Proof. Proof. Maybe like a Booker's or something. Oh, man. That would be an interesting one. Mm. Nice little new Barrel Proof flight fight. Yep. A little mini one. A little mini one. All right, cool. Yeah, all right. Well, um, hey, if you haven't subscribed already, we would love to have you. You can click right up here to do so. There's also suggestions of other videos you can click down here. We hope to see you over there in those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Until next time, drink more bourbon.